Thank you, Alan. That's an awful introduction. Um, I will be... Uh, <laughs> Thank God the President wants to say something. Um, just before we get down to Alan's business, I'd like to use this occasion, if I may, um, to ask Sir Robin Knox Johnson to join me up here, please. Now, whilst he's proceeding up here, and he is on a time, time schedule, I would like to remind everybody, and we all were reminded earlier at the opening, of Robin's great achievements. He's gone round the world, he's done all sorts of wonderful sailing things. He's an absolute shining example to everyone of how to do it. He's keen on training and safety and all those good things. Drinking whiskey while sailing is debatable, but we'll overlook that on today's occasion. Um, he assures me it's medicinal. Um, his sponsors are all poor, by the way. But more importantly, I would like, on behalf of the British Marine Industry, to say thank you to Sir Robert for what he's done to help promote sailing to the public. You all know about the clippers, and if you don't, shame on you. You can go on a clipper around the world or do one leg or whatever you like. Everyone is trained properly, and it's a stunning example of how to go to sea, and it's a life-changing experience for everyone. And I had the pleasure of seeing the crews come in in Fremantle in December in Western Australia, and I've never seen such a happy bunch of sailors. And these are people that have come from all walks of life, they've paid a lot of money, they've been trained safely, and they're having a great, great experience. So Robin, you have done, I think you're on your sixth Clipper Round the World event. <laughs> there are even people signed up in 2009 and 2011. And Robin, you have introduced more than 2,000 people to the way of sailing and yachting in this country. And therefore, with great pleasure, I would like to confer an honorary membership to the British Marine Federation, to Robin Knox Johnson, Sir Robin Knox Johnson, to thank him for what he's done for our industry. Amen. Well, that, that was a little unexpected. Can I just tell you how I really started? Some 54 years ago, I went to the first ever boat show. And I remember, taking, I went with my brothers, I was 14. I went with my brothers, and I remember looking at Wanderer 3 this fox boat, and saying, one day I'll go around the world like that boat has. And I pass that on to you because that's what spurred me on to get involved in sailing. And he was seeing that boat as a very young man at the boat show. The well, boat show has come along hugely since then, and it's been great fun being involved in the boating industry, which seems to go from strength to strength. And I just wish the press and television would realise how good we are. <laughs> Thank you, Sir Robin. Now, if I may, I'll hand back to Alan Morgan, Chairman of National Boat Show. Thank you for your time, Alan. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Peter. Thank you for Robin, and our congratulations on your, uh, your, your uh, award. Delighted for you. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome to the Colin Stewart London Boat Show in association with the Daily Mail, and thank you for attending us the, our reception today. The Colin Stewart London Boat Show is clearly a showcase for our very successful UK marine industry and we're very excited to bring you once again such a large array of the very best of products and services all under one roof. We're celebrating our 54th show this year and believe it or not it's our fifth here at Excel. The 2008 show will I promise you be very different. We have a whole host of exciting developments much of which has been derived from our exhaustive trade and exhibitor research. During the last year, we have conducted in-depth visitor and exhibitor surveys and a programme of regional road shows, all intended to ensure that our show is truly reflective of the needs of our exhibitors and visitors alike. We have a passion to achieve that. From the moment our visitors step into the show, they will be taken on an exhilarating journey. With over 1,000 boats of every description on display, from 500 pound dinghies to 12 million pound yachts located both in the halls and in our purpose-built marina. Together, of course, with a whole host of other exhibitors, ranging from chandlers to holiday companies to marine equipment, and great advice on how to start boating to make experts eager to help. Our exciting features are designed to capture the imagination of all ages, our anchor games and deck games, both 
hugely popular last year are back again, together with classic boats, including Bodicea, the oldest working boat in the UK, and the fascinating display of the Cutty Staff Restoration. We're delighted to be associated with that project, and they're here, and I'm sure you'll be hugely interested to see the artifacts on display. Our newest development, and one which we are particularly proud, is that of the new main stage. When we moved here, we had a problem. We didn't quite know what to do about our main stage and our central feature. We've tried a number of initiatives. This one is going to work. We're absolutely delighted. We're delighted with its location. We're delighted with its sponsor. And we're delighted with its content. For those of you who may have seen our opening ceremony, indicative of what lays ahead, it's very exciting and we're sure it'll be a great hit throughout the show. It'll also include films, fashion shows, and of course, the Sea Queen demonstration, which is on display this morning. It's not to be missed. On the dock side, a chance to take a tour of HMS Exeter, our resident Royal Naval Destroyer. And our very grateful thanks to Commander Paul Brown and his crew for allowing thousands of visitors and exhibitors. And last year, I think the number was something like 20,000 people toured through the ship. It's a huge attraction and part of our wonderful display here at the Colin Stewart London Boat Show. They allow many thousands of people to visit and discover the mysteries of modern day warship, accompanied by expert guides who are only too eager to help. And when Andy and I were with the captain and his crew at midnight on Tuesday evening, slipping back a few discreet Lafray whiskies, the talk amongst the resident senior crew um, in the wardroom was, were there lots of ladies going to be wanting to come on tour? Because that was a particular attraction for them. So we're assured that we would do our level best to get as many as we could on board. It's a truly great attraction and it does enhance and we are particularly grateful to the Royal Navy for their continued support. We've come a long way in the last 12 months since we closed the doors on our 2007 show and we can go further. We have great ambitions to continue developing our show as a great nautical experience here in London. Watch this space, we're going onwards and upwards. As we open our show today, we have great cause for optimism. Our advanced ticket sales, as of last evening, were about 9% ahead from the same time last year. That, together with another, many other soundings, give us great cause for confidence. Thank you very much indeed.